What's up guys, Eric here from Techisode TV and I stand corrected. In the last video I posted, I talked about why I switched from the iPhone XS Max back to the Galaxy Note 9. And one of those reasons was that it was very difficult to move apps around on the home screens on an iPhone. And that's because I thought you could only move one application at a time. And to test that, I tried a bunch of different things. Things that I thought seemed kind of intuitive ways to grab multiple applications. Like I tried tapping a bunch of extra applications and then long pressing one of them and dragging and that didn't work. I tried grabbing with multiple fingers and that didn't work either. I even tried long pressing and then tapping or tapping and dragging and that didn't work either. Well, there were a couple people who commented on my last video and they kind of explained how to do it and there was one step that I missed. Instead of just long pressing and then tapping other applications, you have to first long press and then start moving that application. Now, once you're moving that application, you can then tap other applications and those will all kind of file in behind it. And then you can now drag this entire group of applications to another page and drop them wherever you'd like them. So that's obviously much faster to move them that way than one at a time, which is the way that I thought you had to move applications on an iPhone. Now, does this want to make me switch back to the iPhone XS Max? No, there's still a bunch of other things on the Note 9 that you can't do on the iPhone XS Max. And if you want to see what those things are, you can check out that other video. But I wanted to make this video to let you guys know that one, I was wrong and I'm kind of owning up to that. Uh, but number two, there's a lot of people who don't know that you can move multiple applications at a time. I talked to a bunch of iPhone users and they didn't know, they had no idea that you can move more than one application at a time. And they told me that the only way to do it is to just move one, then the other, then the other. So drop a line down in the comments below, letting me know if you knew about this, especially if you're an iPhone user. If you're an iPhone user and you knew about this, let me know. If you're an iPhone user and didn't know about this, definitely let me know in the comments below because I have a feeling there's a lot of iPhone users who have no idea uh, that they can move more than one application at a time. As always, don't forget to like it if you liked it, share it if you loved it, and subscribe to see my upcoming Galaxy S10 coverage. And while you're at it, smack that notification bell so you can be the first to know when a new video drops. That's it for this tech episode. God bless, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.